slogans when you can't read them because Montreal Unitarians erased them with the hose. Um, and then, of course, there's the second principle of Unitarian Universalism, which calls for justice, equity, and compassion in human relations. Um, you cannot have justice without getting to the truth. And so every time Unitarian Universalists hide the truth, they're making it hard to get justice for victims of uh, clergy abuse. So let's see what's happening here. So she's basically, I think she's trying to uh, justify her actions by watering flowers as well. Um, you know, oh, I'm not just erasing Robin's uh, slogans protesting against uh, child sex abuse and cover up and denial of child sex abuse by Unitarian Universalists. I'll water some flowers too, so it looks like I'm actually doing something good and useful instead of something evil and ultimately useless because A, I can rewrite the talk slogans, B, I can post this video to YouTube and, and so on. So really, Shannon Horan and all other Montreal Unitarians who erase my talk slogans aren't really accomplishing very much by erasing my chalk slogans. They're only proving my point about Unitarian Universalist cover-up and uh, denial of uh, sexual abuse of children and various other Unitarian Universalist uh, injustices, abuses, and hypocrisy. So I'm assuming she will soon come and uh, erase uh, this chalk slogan again only proving my point, which is fine by me. I, I really have no problem when uh, Montreal Unitarian hypocrites come out and erase uh, my chalk slogans, which uh, tell the truth about uh, Unitarian Universalist uh, child sex abuse and Unitarian Universalist cover-up and denial of child sex abuse. So, uh, yeah, she'll eventually get around to erasing this uh, chalk slogan, no doubt. Just a matter of time. I'm getting closer. So, uh, anywho, here we go, here we go. Here she comes. It's just a matter of time now. So, yeah, it's just amazing how clueless and uh, amoral and, uh, if not knowingly and willfully immoral and unethical, uh, Montreal Unitarians are when they uh, do such things as erase my chalk slogans. Um, just uh, pretty, pretty sad. You know, it really doesn't say much about A, the Unitarian Church of Montreal, and, and B, Unitarian Universalism as a religion when, when uh, its members do things that are in total contradiction of Unitarian Universalist principles. And uh, don't seem the least bit concerned about that. Um, so here she goes. We got some cyclists coming by here. Like I said, it's, it's really only a matter of time before uh, she uh, erases the chalk slogan. So, uh, this little chat going on here. Guys going in. It's not a familiar face. Not somebody I've uh, noticed uh, entering the church before. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, erase my slogan that's against uh, censorship and suppression of. Uh... There we go. There we go. Well done. You can't do better than that. Erasing my chalk slogan, which. Uh, protests against the uh, censorship and suppression of clergy abuse victims and whistleblowers. That's uh, just spectacular hypocrisy on the part of uh, Ms. Horan here, uh, representing the Unitarian Church of Montreal, and it's uh, outrageous hypocrisy, not to mention the Unitarian Universalist religious community as a whole, and it's uh, outrageous hypocrisy and it's past and ongoing uh, cover-up and denial of uh, not just sexual abuse of children but all kinds of uh, 
Unitan Universal's cleared the view. So, so how ironic. How ironic. <laughs> I put down a poster, I should say a chalk slogan, about Unitarian Universalist uh, censorship and suppression of clergy abuse victims and whistleblowers, and what do they do? They obliterate it, they erase it, they censor and suppress it. So, uh, yeah, just uh, stunning hypocrisy, thanks to. Uh, Montreal Unitarians in general, and uh, in this case, uh, Ms. Shannon Horan, if I'm not mistaken. I think I might, I think I got her first name right. So, uh, anyhow, that's it. Water the flowers and cover up and hide the uh, sex abuse of children all in one go. Very good. Excellent. So we will uh, continue our little protest here. I think we're going to leave these two signs here. I normally have them displayed elsewhere, but uh, I think today we'll just uh, leave these two right here and go grab a couple other ones and uh, circulate a bit. So, anyway, she may not realize it, but uh, Shannon Horn just made my day by racing my chalk slogan the ones specifically that expose the fact that Unitarian Universalists uh, censor and suppress clergy abuse victims and clergy abuse whistleblowers. So we shall just grab a couple of picket signs here and uh, we'll circulate a little bit. <clears throat> and I may put down a couple of chalk slogans more. But uh, for the time being, we'll just uh, circulate with uh, the picket signs we have in our hand. So, uh, <clears throat> ah, well, this will make for some good you uh, asterisk YouTube video. And uh, what do we got here? Someone else arriving? Yes, that looks like uh, someone coming to the church. I think I've seen that fellow before. So, yeah, it's uh, always uh, a good protest uh, when my chalk slogans are erased by Stalin Slaus and uh, David Roller, the husband of the minister, and uh, Various other Montreal Unitarians, John Inder, the uh, former uh, vice president, and so on. Oh, it looks like David Rollett's heading for my chalk slogan down the end there. I think I'll, uh, <laughs> I think I'll get uh, some video of. Uh... Okay, well let's see. Okay, here he goes. <laughs> so who are these people? Good day, sir. So. Uh... Do you believe that erasing chalk slogans that protest against clergy abuse and cover up a clergy abuse is in alignment with the fourth principle of Unitarian Universalism, which calls for a free and responsible search for truth and meaning? Or do you think it totally violates it? What? God spoke to you, he wanted you to I'm not talking about God, I'm talking about Unitarian Universalist principles. Do you believe that hiding and censoring slogans which expose sexual abuse of children and cover up of sexual abuse of children is in, is in alignment with the fourth principle of Unitarian Universalism. Well, first of all, you have to prove by any means there's a abuse. The there's newspaper articles about Unitarian Universalist ministers, Unitarian Universalist Sunday school teachers this who have been charged, anything, tried. Having anything whatsoever to do with this church. You're wrong. You're part of the Unitarian Universalist religious community. Uh, what have, when <laughs> have we ever refused or failed to denounce or, uh, child abuse? Or Every time you erase my chalk slogans, you're hiding it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a day of peace. It's a day of 
day for reflection, it's a day for <laughs> religious observation. Leave these people alone. No, no, I'm sorry. It's perfectly human, legitimate to human, protest in front of a church. Human being. <laughs> Jesus was a deplorable human being when he protested in front of the temple. Are you going to tell me that? Are you going to tell me Jesus was a deplorable oh, human being when he when he sure. protested at the temple in Jerusalem? Calm, 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 calm down a bit. Calm down a bit. Calm down I'm a laughing bit. at you. Well, you can laugh. You're absolutely deplorable. You're, you're, I'm deplorable. You're, like I said, deplorable like Jesus. <laughs> anyway, best of luck with your service. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Thank you. Folks like this have to ruin the day. No, no. Uh, sick, 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 sick folks like pedophiles and rapists have to oh, rape children, and sick it. folks have to cover up and hide it. Like a brave man. Because <laughs> all of my friends are there, they don't need one other photographer. They don't need one other photographer. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm exposing serious problems. Go put this downtown, the Grand Prix, and all those evil capitalists and having so much fun spending their money and making vitality to see. You're, you're, you're a horrific human being. Oh, I'm a horrific human being. I, I'd say I'm not nearly as horrific as the pedophiles and rapists that rape children and the people that cover up and hide it. <laughs> A horrific human being, because I protest against Unitarian Universalist uh, child sex abuse and other Unitarian clergy abuse and so on, yeah. So, let's see what's going on here. So, David's got his uh, little water thing, and he's in uh, total denial as usual. <laughs> so, come on, go race the slogan. I'm sure that's what you're going to do. Why don't you go race it, and I'll just... Uh, have some more nice YouTube video of you uh, helping Unitarians hide uh, child sex abuse. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go for it. I want more YouTube video of David Rollert's extreme hypocrisy. <clears throat> I want more YouTube video of David Rollert's extreme hypocrisy and his knowing and willful participation in Unitarian Universalist cover-up and denial of sexual abuse of children by Unitarian Universalist ministers, Unitarian Universalist Sunday school teachers, and the Unitarian Universalist lay people like Richard Buell. When you erase my chalk slogans, you're hiding the truth, David. You're hiding Unitarian Universalist cover-up of clergy abuse, and thus you're hiding the clergy abuse itself. <coughs> Oh yeah, you're in total denial. I can see that with your smirk and smile. You're in denial. I've already said that uh, more than a few times, David. Very good. Excellent. Great job there, David. Just proving what a hypocrite you are. <clears throat> and 